Hi, Nick at Clean PC, and today we're going to be doing a Linux distribution review for Manjaro Linux 20.1 GNOME. So currently, Manjaro ranks number two on DistroWatch. A little bit about the install: uh, very easy to use graphical installer. The install was very fast, nine minutes and 23 seconds. So very quick to install. Uh, we're running this on Proxmox, four CPU, six gigs of RAM. As you can see, we're booted into the desktop, and we see the Manjaro hello. Got links to documentation, support, and the project. You can just click on any of these if you want. Also kind of cool, click on applications. You can expand this down and see the different browsers in this case um, that you could add. Same thing with the other applications. If we click on office apps, you can see we could add Abby Word or G Numeric and so on and so forth. So kind of nice. We can also hit the home button and go back. Now this I really liked, the GNOME Layouts Manager. So if you click on this, you can see we're currently on Manjaro. If we wanted, we could hit Traditional, tick that box, and hit Apply. Now as soon as we do that, we notice the new layout takes place. Same thing if we went to Unity, Modern, regular gnome or mate so I found this to be a really nice feature um, if you're not used to switching your environment this makes it really easy to do but for our review we're just gonna stick with the Manjaro default so again we can hit the home button and go back and if you don't want this launching at startup, you can tick this box and close this out. You can always find it in the application menu as well. Just to note, this is a default wallpaper. I did change it. Um, I just chose this. Uh, kind of like the background. has the Manjaro logo over here. So kind of cool. We've got our menu bar up here. And over here we've got our launcher. So we can say show applications. We've got a link to Firefox, our file manager text editor, terminal, add and remove software. So I will click on this. Really nice interface to add and remove software. You can look at the different categories and scroll through the different applications you want to install. So really nicely done. Definitely do like the dark theme um, that they've implemented here by default. Really easy to use, kind of nice on the eyes. So nice job by the Manjaro development team. Very cool. And this, like I said, this makes installing packages very easy to do. So if we go here and say show applications. So if I had one thing I didn't really like, it's, it's this interface. So you can see there's, um, there's some stuff in here. But if we go into accessories, we can see there's, there's some stuff. And you've got to scroll through. Um, and it's just I really don't like the interface. It's uh, I just don't like it. It's, it doesn't seem very user friendly to me. Um, I don't like the scrolling. I just don't like the overall feel of it. Um, it just feels kind of clunky to me. So that's just my own personal taste. Take it for what it is. Um, as you can see though, if we go into File Manager, we can see it's running files. This 3.36.3 version. We can go ahead and go into Downloads. I went ahead and download Bootstrap. So if we go into CSS file, so open with default text editor, and you can just see we've got some color coding here. So, and again, this is probably one of the first distributions I haven't really installed anything. Um, I just used all the stock applications, wanted to review it as such. So. We can see this is gedit version 3.36.2. Opens nice and quick. Again, if we go back, we can go into docs and 4.0. Look at some examples. We can go into carousel. We could choose other applications, view all, and then choose text editor. And again, this will open up and it has some color coding for you as well. Swoon so File Manager here, the one thing it doesn't have a shortcut to 
is the file system. You can go into here under other locations and go to computer and get to it. I prefer to have that shortcut somewhere over here, so it's an extra click. Not the end of the world, but again, just something that I would prefer to see. We can go into cron.d and open this file, and again, it opens with gedit very quickly. So going, if we go back into our applications menu, and you can see what's here in Office. There's a couple of things. We can go into Systems Tools. And again, there's a bunch of stuff in here. I just, I really don't like the interface and the scrolling. It just seems very cumbersome to me. Um, so this default layout is just not, I'm not a huge fan. Um, I just don't really like it. But again, it's my own personal preference. I have reviewed XFCE and KDE. I just find them to be much more user friendly. So we'll wait for Firefox to open. And in here, we're brought to the Manjaro web page by default. So definitely check it out. If you use Manjaro, please do click on the donate button. And you can look at the different options to donate and where the donations go. Do check out their forum. And these are nice because they're bookmarked here. And again, you can sign up if you're a new user, get some questions answered. Hopefully uh, you'll like it, become a seasoned user, and then you can log in and help other people, which would be great. You can check out their wiki here. Nicely organized page. Also, just check them out on DistroWatch. I'd like to give them a click. We can see ranks number two. So as I said, overall, not a huge fan of this interface um, by default. So what we can do is if we go back to this Manjaro hello, and there's also another way. There's another way to uh, go to the GNOME Layout Manager, but this is just the easiest. For me, I would probably prefer the traditional up here, I think. So if we apply this. I like this a lot. I think this is a little bit more user friendly. We click down here and we have our menu bar. We can go to all programs, you know, and then you can see your options here. I just think this interface is a little bit more user friendly. Um, but again, it becomes personal preference, right? So I think the nice thing is they give you the option to do whatever you feel is best. And for me, I just like this a little bit better. But I also wanted to be true to the review um, and review it as default. But the cool thing about Linux is you can customize it. You can make it your own. Um, and that's a great thing. You don't always get that option with um, commercial off-the-shelf software. So, again, one of the powers of open source is the ability to change and modify. Um, and this is a great example. So, for me, I like this a lot. This is probably how I would use it if I was going to run uh, Manjaro 20.1 with GNOME. But, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please like and subscribe.